uh, Honourable Mans, I'd like to put this uh, to you. And uh, David Ndi yesterday night was um, on TV. He's the head uh, of uh, the NASA strategy, and he, you know, had quite a number of interesting statements that he made. One of which um, he spoke about secession. That you know, it's time that you know, if, if it's a bad relationship, if it's a bad marriage, then it's time to break up and uh, move on. Maybe you could just analyze that for us. What exactly does that mean? Well, first I've seen it in the media and also in social media. Mm -hmm. Now finally he came out on it. Uh, he's quoting the African Charter. You know that uh, the rights of uh, determination of a people. Uh, it is true, but uh, when you come to our own constitution, mm -hmm. uh, then you have to go into a referendum to see whether the country uh, has gotten to that level. And only if in a referendum a majority of Kenyans says let's secede, uh, then, uh, then the Kenyans people have spoken. But uh, I think uh, uh, the idea is entertaining right now, and uh, a lot of people uh, are not agree with him, others, uh, others uh, do agree with him, uh, and when you look, uh, he's talking about Western Kenya and mm -hmm. the coastal region, yes. uh, and yet he comes from Central Province. So, so it gives a little bit of contradiction <laughs> yeah. as to whether he's personally persuaded and fully persuaded in uh, what he's saying, uh, and I believe before that can only come as a last result. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a very expensive process, um, uh, it's a new idea, uh, I don't think right now it's, it's fully justified. That, and that's why, as NASA, we first went to court. Mm. Uh, but uh, what you say within the law and within uh, the international law uh, and uh, the local law, which we call the municipal law, our own constitution uh, can allow that if there is a referendum. So but for now, was it a political rhetoric or, or loose talk from him? Uh, well, I'll classify it as both, uh, and, and, and uh, it's something Kenyans have to think about. You, you know, you, you, he has got the freedom under the constitution to express himself what he thinks, and that's the beauty about the new constitution. Those are his own ideas. If enough Kenyans support that idea, then there's a process to achieve that. Uh, it, it has to be done in a peaceful manner. Uh, so, uh, so that uh, you don't, uh, you know, frustrate the country. Mm. Yeah, in my own opinion and what I've observed from uh, the people I represent and the many Kenyans I also represent, a lot of Kenyans are not rich. They are looking at a situation whereby our state grows rich. They are looking at justice. Uh, they want their children to go to school right. and have a future. Mm -hmm. so, so when you try to disrupt that, it can be very tricky. But where there is no justice, then it is not possible uh, to have peace mm -hmm. and uh, to coexist. You, you know, the country is now divided into two. Those are, you know, the votes uh, NASA got are quite many, and the, vo the votes uh, Jubilee got are quite many. Right. But there is a task of all Kenyan leaders to unite the country for a common purpose, for development, for the protection of human rights and the lives all right. of Kenyans. All right. Yes. Uh, Philip, your, your sentiments on this statement made yesterday by David Ndi. Yeah, I, I think... Um, um, you can see there's a lot of confusion uh, on the NASA side. Just before we took a commercial break, uh, uh, my friend Moshio Manzo talked about um, uh, them filing all their documents in time. Mm. But their lead counsel, uh, uh, Paul Mwangi, the other day attempted to file other documents out of time and then later on claimed that uh, those documents were not really important. If they're not important um, uh, you know, for the case, why were they being submitted after, after time? But let me uh, turn back to uh, this other gentleman, yeah. uh, who really, in my view, I think, um, you know, needs help. He really needs help. Because you can't talk about secession, and the constitution is very clear. The boundaries of Kenya have been defined. We know we have now 44 tribes. We, you know, we, we have one Kenya. So, um, um, I mean, if he is doing this out of bitterness, I think we'll allow him time to cool down. Uh, but I can see now why NASA, NASA lost, because if these are the so-called strategies that you have, and even before the case is prosecuted in court and we go full length um, as provided in the Constitution, you know, these are the avenues. And, you know, if, if you feel aggrieved, you know, go to, go to the Supreme Court, so far as the uh, presidential uh, elections are concerned, go there, your case will be hard and determined. And um, I, I, I think thereafter, if you have further grievances, then go back to the people. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, call for a referendum. And if that be the case, we are ready for the referendum. But let me talk about the people he has talked about, mm -hmm. because I have roots from Western Kenya. I think Western Kenya has moved on. We delivered eight uh, members of parliament in the Jubilee, uh, for, uh, for Jubilee. 
Uh, we voted uh, better than we voted in 2013. And therefore, we are not ready for what this man is talking about. Uh, if, if he wants to secede, let him talk about other areas. But I, I don't think Western Province is ready for that. Western mm -hmm. Province is part of Kenya, will rem remain part of Kenya. And we are hoping that in future, Western Kenya will pro also provide leadership, not only to Western Kenya, but to the Republic of Kenya. Oh, all right. Uh, but Honorable Manso, I'd just like to hear your thoughts about, you know, these statements, um, you know, being thrown all over the place, um, and especially in light that uh, of uh, us having, you know, this petition in court and just waiting for the Supreme Court to make this determination. Uh, quite a number of statements that have been made that, you know, could be questionable uh, to, you know, a number of people. And uh, apart from, uh, you know, David Ndee's statement yesterday, we also had uh, uh, Raila Dinga coming out to say that uh, the Supreme Court uh, judges, seven of them, cannot be relied upon to represent the will of 15 million uh, voters. Yesterday also, David D came out and said that uh, change will come, th if not through uh, the ballot, but it will come through the bullet. Um, what do you think of such statements, and especially at this very vulnerable time that we are in as a country? I, I think, uh, you know, civil strife is, uh, is the last mm -hmm. option uh, Kenyans will ever have. Mm -hmm. And it is not the best option because children and women suffer. You destabilize the country. You lose economically. You know, you know Kenya is greater than uh, any one of us, any of the individuals. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe uh, uh, the Honorable Raila Odinga and uh, his running mate, mm -hmm. the Honorable Kalonzo Msioka, the party leader of WIPA, are peace-loving Kenyans. And in fact, from the meetings we've had internally within NASA, mm -hmm. Uh, the, both of them encouraged peaceful means. They ask Kenyans to relax and uh, uh, not to call for any, you know, um, uncalled for uh, situation mm -hmm. or uh, any riots. Mm -hmm. they, they, are, they are the ones who made Kenyans calm down. Of course, uh, a lot of Kenyans who voted were bitter. Uh, and, and, and a lot of Kenyans who had evidence to the contrary felt different, mm -hmm. but they settled down all those emotions. I believe the Honorable Raila Odinga means very well for Kenya. Mm -hmm. The Honorable Kalonzo Musoka me means very well for Kenya. The Honorable Wycliffe Musalia, who is a friend of Kisia here, <laughs> means very well for this country. So, so all the NASA leaders, uh, and the Honorable Wetangula and mm -hmm. Isaac Udo, everybody wants the best for Kenya. Mm -hmm. And that should be so. And, and I believe uh, we need to see what the courts will do. Uh, we need to analyze. You know, you know, the Supreme Court has no appeal, and there is no other court you can go to, even an international court. Mm -hmm. so, so I believe um, the work of the court is to analyze the evidence and determine a case based on the evidence mm -hmm. and the facts right. and the pleadings. Mm -hmm. uh, and once they make that decision, of course, now they, it shifts from mm -hmm. them and goes back to politics. It is now how uh, Kenyans feel. Mm -hmm. If they want a re referendum and they agitate for it, for one or two changes, uh, you can't stop it. It's given by the Constitution. In fact, the current Constitution is very interesting. It says the people of Kenya, mm -hmm. by themselves, or through their elected, mm -hmm. you know, legally elected leaders. So, so, so you, the courts also have a duty to All convince right. Kenyans that this is the best way we move as a country. All and right. remember, the country has three divisions. You know, we have the judiciary, we have the executive, uh, and we have parliament. So all those institutions uh, is what make uh, uh, the government of Kenya, and I believe uh, the judges also mean well, and everybody in that position means well for Kenyans. All right. So, so I do agree that uh, uh, Kenya need to be peaceful, mm -hmm. uh, but you also need justice, mm -hmm. and I believe the NASA leaders, even with those statements, even with D expressing himself mm -hmm. the best way he knows, and uh, he may be representing a lot of other Kenyans who think like him. Uh, we should have a united country, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Kenya is greater than all of us and all the leaders, and to live beyond this generation. Okay. And I believe the future should be good for many, many young Kenyans mm -hmm. who are hopeful mm -hmm. that the future is good. All right. Uh, Kisia, your sentiments about, you know, just how, you know, our leaders should be carrying themselves out because both uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta, his deputy, and even on the other side, Raila Odinga, have come out to s make comments about uh, the petition. You have a country that, you know, almost half of it voted uh, for either <coughs> side. What is the kind of a situation or statements that we should be having from our leaders as we await this determination? Um, now, uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, my good friend Manzo um, for preaching peace. He has spoken uh, extremely well, mm -hmm. and I'm hoping that uh, he's speaking um, on behalf of the NASA leadership. Uh, because when you talk about violence, you talk about 
uh, bring change through the bullet. And yet you very well know that um, those who lose their lives are most probably those who uh, are not well off. Um, I would like to see a situation where those people who are talking about uh, bringing change through the bullet uh, take the front seat. Um, let, let them be there first, their families, their children, and then others can follow. But I don't think Kenyans are, are going to follow uh, people who want to provide blind leadership. Mm -hmm. We are not ready for war. We are ready. For, the only thing that we want is peace. And therefore, we expect that um, those who have been given uh, an opportunity to, to provide leadership, uh, those in NASA, those in um, Jubilee, mm -hmm. that will continue to provide leadership. What is most important is for us to remember that Kenyans have given one person mandate for the next five years. They gave him mandate through the ballot. The difference between the person who was number one, Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta, and uh, Honorable Raila Odinga is 1.4 million votes. So Kenyans have spoken through the, 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 the ballot. Of course, our friends on the other side feel aggrieved, and I'm happy they eventually went to court. That is how a civilized democracy should, um, should operate. And, and civilized people um, would not uh, re resort to violence. Um, and, and therefore, I'm, I'm urging my friend Manzo, uh, after this uh, show, to please find this man called David Ndi. I talk to him, I can understand his bitterness. You know, you know the strategist. You know, mm -hmm. you know, strategy. Actually, the word strategy derives from uh, the word strategos, going to war. <laughs> but when you're going to war, you must be prepared to win or lose. If you have not prepared adequately uh, for the war, you end up losing. And I can, uh, I can see that uh, this general is uh, quite wounded. And, and, and uh, we, we, as Kenyans, let's, let us just allow him to cool down. And I'm sure and he's, a reasonable, man. he's, a, he's a, re a reasonable man and will come back to his senses. I think what we are saying here, Manzo, myself, you, and all other Kenyans, we want to live in peace. We want to move ahead. Kenya can only have one president at a time. In another five years, we'll get back to the ballot and elect another person. So we cannot have two presidents. There's only one. All right. And that person is elected through the ballot by no other means. Right. You can't come so, in through the bullet. So we, so, so we will know who exactly is going to, you know, uh, be inaugurated in just a few days, a few according days, yes. to, uh, you know, what determination we're waiting for from the Supreme Court. All right, gentlemen, I'd like us to uh, push this conversation further and just talk about, um, you know, a devolution right now. We have uh, actually, it was, it's 24 new elected governors. First of all, uh, Manzo, what happened? Uh, why are Kenyans, um, you know, what are Kenyans saying with, you know, them kicking out 24? That's a really high turnover of uh, governors just out of 47. Yes, first of all, you know, uh, devolution is a new concept in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of co counties did not start it off well. Mm -hmm. the, many people were learning, you know, previously we used to have councils, councillors. Now, you know, we have county assemblies, yes. which are very similar to the National Assembly. Uh, and, you know, uh, monies have been allocated to these counties. Uh, one of the biggest problems was corruption. Where there was corruption, uh, a lot of these governors have not gone back. Uh, and I also noticed there was a pattern in the country. Mm -hmm. Where there are young people, uh, despite their mistakes, Kenyans found it wise to take them back uh, to power. Uh, and, 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 uh, and give them a chance, mm -hmm. you know, to reorganize themselves in future. But I also want to believe that, uh, you know, politics is a little different. I went through it. Mm -hmm. uh, and although and I'm very grateful to the people of Maku and they elected me overwhelmingly, mm -hmm. the moment uh, the election period begins, uh, Kenyans go back to the drawing board. Mm -hmm. They, they start scrutinizing you and uh, looking you afresh and comparing you with the new competitors. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I think uh, unless we are, you know, many places election petitions have been filed with the counties, this may a little bit change. Uh, there are serious allegations of uh, electoral malpractices in mm -hmm. many, many parts of uh, these counties, uh, including Machakos and, uh, and Garissa. So, so we, we are looking at a situation whereby courts may rectify a few of this. Uh, but, but generally, Kenyans have spoken. Mm -hmm. uh, the future governors need to really, really, really take care of uh, the monies given to them on behalf of Kenyans mm -hmm. so that there is development. It is achieved. A lot of places, many people have seen mm -hmm. new things, new roads. Uh, water, you know, is devolved. Education mm -hmm. part of it, you know, the nursery schools and the technical institutions. Mm -hmm. But mainly, it is where money was misused. 
then those governors did not stand a chance. All right. Is it also to do with the politics that maybe you're in the wrong party? Uh, maybe just looking at, uh, you know, the Bomet situation. Do you think um, Isaac Ruto may have been wounded because of, you know, being in the wrong party at the wrong time? Well, that was a factor, but, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the particular candidates... There are certain candidates, uh, depending on who you front them mm -hmm. with. All right. And also, you must uh, accept that uh, a lot of money was spent in this election. Okay. Uh, in fact, uh, as a country, we need to rethink, uh, because uh, it becomes a money issue. And you know, if, if, if you have to buy your way into election, mm -hmm. then it means corruption will never stop in this country. All right. and the best way to finish corruption All right. is uh, for people to elect you for truly what you stand for, uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, um, governments, including county governments, are organized through political parties. All right. You see, a majority okay. wins and forms government, whether right. at a national level or, or at a county level. level. So right. that also counted. All right. We'll come back, uh, Philip, to hear your thoughts on this one, but we have to take something urgently. And I understand that uh, NEMA, together with the Ministry of Environment, is giving a brief on the ban on plastic bags. It's another very important conversation. Let's just cross over there and listen to a bit of what's happening the rural women and the rural youth using 